You now have the repository open. We're going to make a small change to this readme file, push it back up to the GitHub repository just to prove that all the VS Code integration is working correctly. So I've just clicked on the name of the file on the left hand side in the Explorer and we'll add in a little bit of text into this. HTTPS. So this is the link to the Citadel Terraform workshop. And we'll make that change and save it. So you can see we've got the round dot here to show there's unsaved changes. If I do control S, that saves those and commits them there. At that point, the git symbol on the left hand side should now show there's one file which has got changes. So that's the pending change. If I click on that, you can see we've got source control git, which means it's found the git executable in the operating system path. And that's really key, particularly for those of you using Windows 10 with Windows subsystem for Linux. Installing Git into the Windows subsystem for Linux is a good thing to do, but it's the Git installed at the operating system level which is required. So it needs to be in the Windows path, system path. Okay, so we have to change that. Now, if I hover over the file name, we can be selective as to which ones we stage. So the process is to stage files, commit files, which puts them into the local repository, and then push those back up to the main repository over in GitHub. So I'm just going to click on the plus two stages change. You see it moves from the changes column through into the stage changes. And then when we commit, we always have to have a message. So I'm just going to put it updated readme file. Click on the tick to commit. And then that has placed it locally into the repository. And you can see down the bottom here, that is now shown there's one commit which needs to be pushed up to to make it the same. So I can click on this to do so, or on the ellipsis here, and then do the push. If I do the push, you then see the sync symbol will rotate round. That'll take a couple of seconds to run. And now your commit has been pushed up. So now if you were to go back into your GitHub repository, so go back to your browser and go into there, and refresh the page for your readme, you should see the change.